Hello, welcome to Quack Talk. I'm Crystal here on Tuesday. Question for the day. What is the fountain of youth? What is the elixir? What is that thing that lubricates us and keeps us young and vibrant forever, even when you feel old and shitty? Well, today we're gonna to talk about that. I've got like this beautiful couple full of youth and, and vigor and mojo. <laughs> and they are gonna tell us or discuss with us what it means to be young, what it is to be forever young. Welcome our guest today, Doug Silva, who is a professional coach and coach and professional surfer in itself. Yes, thank you. And model, yes. uh, and um, <laughs> Cubby Bear's daddy. <laughs> and mommy. And mommy. Yes. And course. mommy is Kiahi Lindsay, uh, an esthetician. Did I say yes, that right? Yes, esthetician, right? skin specialist. And, and actually, your title today is president of the Superstars of Love. Yes. What the heck? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we decided to perpetuate everything that we believe. Um, for years, you know, we've been forced to put a label on ourselves. And really that just kind of like when you live long enough as long as we have you start to really find pride in defining who you really are your authenticity okay. and then you start speaking it you start making up words you start making up a new language and so we're having fun with that right now okay so back up <coughs> you guys say you're like at this age you sound like you feel like you're old which you're <laughs> not you're way younger than me I wouldn't say way younger <laughs> I, I, I mean maybe you have me beat by a Few couple months. of years, uh, maybe. Um, One year. And she's she is and definitely. And she's a handful younger. Yes, and he's <laughs> he's thirty five based on dog years, but um, yes. she's definitely a little bit younger, but has lived. You have a lived full life. Meaning, of let's talk about that. Children. You have we're moving before. Yes. You have three adult kids. I do, which is crazy, insane, awesome, love it. I'm forty two years old. I have three kids, three teenage kids, two of them off to college and one, the youngest is 14, oldest is 19, and they're absolutely amazing, and they make me feel youthful every day that I'm alive, so. And they wanna emulate me, they tell me every day, mom, my goal in life is just to be more like you. Wow. My teenage girls say that. Your average so teenager I, will not say that. They fight over my attention when they come to visit. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, just, I mean, a giggling, happy, loving, giggling. young 40. Yes. Young 40 something. Yes. Okay. Um, based on my experience, um, dating, associating myself with young 40 year old women, they they seem to be scorned or have have the woe is me. Yes. Um, yes. What and I it's, I deserve this. It's all downhill uh, from here. It seems like yeah. If if everything hasn't gone as planned. Yeah. By the time they're in their early 40s. Yeah. It's like life over. Right. And they just they actually become a product of oldness they become a product of yes. of sadness and and they just dilapidate so is that your definition of your of old of being self-pitying and yeah kind of I, I mean that that can definitely like that willfulness that self-pity can definitely make you old and scorned and you will kill all your organs yes. when, when you have that energy I, and you have that those thoughts they're just they're self-decaying and they're they're uh the, it's a demise okay it's a it's a decay so, um, what has attracted me to chaos? Wait, how long have you been dating for? Let's just throw oh, it right, on the right. table so, so we going. know what's going on. Because right, right, you're right. hot and heavy in the first three months. That's uh, bullshit. No, no, I'm not no, going to look at anything because everyone's that all going to be. Sense. Okay, what? It's been. Um, it's been well, a year. It's been one year. So it's awesome. It's okay, been, so one year's still honeymoon. Right, Zuri? That is honeymoon period. Uh, no, they have no the right to talk okay, about okay. Maybe, one, maybe, maybe if we were like 20, 20 years so old, fresh. it'd still be honeymoon. Let me but, clarify. Okay. We've been physically together for a year, but we've been asking for each other for years oh, before wow. that. That's so when we met, it it felt like it's been years coming. You know, so that's it. Doesn't feel like one year. Well, how so. you know, which is interesting. On how we did met is really important because as I laid there, November, December of 2015, in my bed, yearning for like uh, a Colombian goddess that would just wake up and smile, that would maybe make me in the morning <laughs> and make me coffee and. And, uh, Where sorry, were you there. at that point? Were you very um, empty? Were you in well, a low? Well, I just, I just, I, just... I, was like, I was, I was manifesting. I was creating. Okay. At that point, I you were was, willing something. I to was fall like, on. really, like, like, manifesting, putting it out to the universe. My, my we physical, both spent my New Year's physical, alone yes, the year before. My, okay. asking my, for each my other. desires, my, my thoughts, my, my vision of how, um, it, it, it can be. I see, I, you know, visualize it, see it. This is what I see in a woman. This is what I see as a partner to be 
perusing through my apartment, environment, whatever. This so you is what see, I see this, you visualize oh, this absolutely. happening, and so you will it to happen. Absolutely. And then come January 2016, early January, um, and it was there it was at Whole Foods. And you just <laughs> there you were, right there. next to the fruit. This is no, perfect time for me. Oh, the meat section. <laughs> of course it was the meat right, right. section. But I would like to interrupt here because I think we talk about Forever Young and I we talk about, you know, that those crossroads when, when you, you come through your twenties and your thirties and now entering forties, fifties and sixties, there is a point in your life where you can choose to just look, keep looking at what's in your life, whether you're with someone or not, whether you have kids or not. Um, you have a choice and you come to that crossroad where you continue to look at what you have or you continue to look at where you're going. And when you're young, you only think about where you're going. You never, ever look in front of you. Right. That's what parents are for. Look, stop, yeah. look at the world. Yeah, but the they still don't listen. Yeah, yeah. So, because they kids, they because they kids never see their reality. They're only see where they're going, where they want to But go. when you get older, you get consumed with all the, you can. the walls. You, that's a choice. Yes. You can. You can. You can. But you, you can. don't have to. You don't have to. You can always continue to look to where you want to go. And that New Year's, we both spent at home yes. alone. We had many opportunities to party yes. at the best hotels, the best restaurants, the best of everything. Mm -hmm. You know, we had invitations. And we turned all of them down because we decided to go inward mm. and to really choose to feel where we want to be in our lives. So what is your definition of youth? It's a feeling. Um, is it a... It's, it's from the moment you open your eyes. It's to feel the sheets on you. It's to feel the air coming through the window. It's to decide to choose to savor that before anything else. You know, before you wake up and run and out worry the door about what the stuff and you have to start do all the this, day. Yeah. You, I, you, you stop and you just save her. Wake up and put high heels on and have a glass you of wine. <laughs> Why not? He wants put, to. Put on some <laughs> trance music and just whatever. And just so that works for you. Yeah, I mean, we, we all have our outs. Have you ever felt old? Is that equated have to like felt, a low point um, in your life? Like, no, no, old. Like, I mean, it, I, I'm 48 years old. I'm physically active every single day. And right, I and you have a body of, energy, of a 25-year-old. Okay, yeah, Great, thank right. you, yeah, yeah. Should we but have the, him take off his shirt? No. Later. Okay. You um, too. But <laughs> uh, Sorry. I'm, I'm an ass man. Um, <laughs> the, but I do feel a little tired in the morning. Yeah. I mean, my body is a little bit sore. It, take, it takes a little bit of time to rejuvenate and blood cells yeah, and water and hydration. I mean, it's just the way it is. Yeah. So, um, you got a few more wrinkles. So what? Just a couple. Yeah. Those are just, those are just, Did that's you experience. Did you sag anywhere else, Kiyai? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. This, 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 this show's called Forever Young, right? Yeah. Okay, no, uh, uh, no, no sagging. No sagging. No I didn't sagging. say anything. No sagging. Can I say the word sagging? No sagging. And then <laughs> to um, the youthful part, um, what was that reflection about? He even forgot the question because he's deleted I was, the I was word. Like, yeah, right. Um, um, what does what does what is, youth mean yeah, to you? Yeah. What does yeah. it How mean? do you define I mean, you? Obviously, I mean, I, I just look at his eyes sparkle. His body is just so tight and fit. I see him paddle out there faster than 20-year-olds. I, I, it. That's what makes me feel younger, is being able to admire and witness him. And her youthfulness, to go back to the original point, now that I'm back to that he gives you point, the, She gives it's, you the youth. It's how she has... Um, being in her early 40s has just not become that scorned woman right has not become like the man hater not like woe is me right. like she just like educated herself and just you know i'm gonna have a beautiful life but did you feel that before you changed and i said, suffered I'm a lot starting all i again. suffered a lot as a lot of people who have big dreams who have a real clear vision of what they want in their lives what kind of mother they want to be what kind of father friend daughter son i mean we all have really strong um desires to be great to be the best you know mm -hmm. at whatever it is we all want to shine you know we all want recognition we all want to be the most special you know? And it's okay to have a dimming light sometimes in your life Absolutely. because that gives you That's that well, that, power that to dim light is just it. you not realizing and sticking to that belief that you are special. That, you are the best. That dim light is it's that, that dim light is energy, and you can transcend that dim light into pop into something How? very positive. Like what is an example you, you, in your life you that you did that? You right. had some lows. You disappeared I and went it. and I love it. I love embrace it. Embrace it, feel it, and love it. And well, let, allow yourself to be sucked down into something sorry. very self-destructive, and then I'm rise from just, there. Just 
feel it, embrace it, and transcend that energy into productivity. Instead of what would be the other alternative? Um, yeah. Everything is fine. I'm fine. I'm great. Oh, How are yeah. you? Oh, I'm great. Right. Right. So I'm just, fine. Just to embrace, yeah. embrace that dark it's time. It's like, you know what? I suck it. right now. I hate myself. And just know that. Yeah, I'm looking <laughs> old. I feel like, yeah. yeah. And just know that you can and will come out of it. You will come out of it. Just, but is it a self-fulfilling? Do you need to make that effort or do you believe that life will guide you there? Um, the the no. power of of putting thoughts and visions to the universe on how you want your what how how your life will be conveyed and how it will unfold in front of you. Put those thoughts of what you desire. See um, your wishes come to fruition. Like how you envisioned having Jai into well, your life. <laughs> ab well, absolutely. I, I get, I, I, Someone that giggles and laughs in the morning. Did you feel more youthful after you started dating Kiyahe? Mm, I, I mean... It's different. She, she, it's has, different, she just right? has, well, there's aspects about her that are so innocent. <laughs> you know, like, she's like, like, oh, like, I'm like, wow. Oh, she's just like a, this so, such mature woman, raised children, and right. she'll have these aspects of being a teenager herself, and so... That will remind me so of So your, your, her youthful energy actually affects you. Absolutely, yes, absolutely. I purposely avoided um, the mold. I purposely avoided knowing everything in life so that I could sit there and have an adult conversation with someone and letting them know everything that I know. You know, that's so boring to me. How do your kids you know? feel about you dating and? Um, there are three different entities, okay. obviously, and I respect all three of them. Okay. And I'm just completely being sensitive and honest and just letting that energy flow, you know? And one of them just like absolutely loves him and he, he teaches her lessons every day, you know? And one of them is like, mom, I'm not ready yet. Oh, okay, wow. cool. You know, there's no right, wrong, Yeah. you know? And we cater to individuality and authenticity and I respect that in each one of them, so. And what's amazing as well is that she has finally taken a little time off to realize her dreams and her <laughs> full potential um, um, you know, she's been working so hard over the last 10 years. You finally took that step to do something for yourself. Providing. Oh, he took that step for you. He's, yeah, he's I, allowing that, you know, to come out of me. So maybe again. youth is something you need to have room to bring in youthful energies and well, just, space to explore. Just take time to connect with people. You, I dropped you, her off at the salon with you and you guys were able to, <laughs> yeah. you guys okay, were able to connect. Outside. Whatever, whatever. All right. so I wouldn't have orange, a shirt. Your orange, your, Thank you. A yes. or manicure? Um, it's a pet. Okay. Okay. Pedi All right. Time for a break. <laughs> people out there, if you guys think about life and what it means to be young, please join us in this conversation because it is something that's very thought provoking, whether you like it or not, whether wherever you are in your phase in life, you will feel old at some point and we need to feel young. So come back. I mean, don't go away. <laughs> Aloha. My name is Justine Espiritu. This is my co-host, Matthew Johnson. Every Thursday at 4 p.m. on ThinkTech, we host the Hawaii Food and Farmer Series. We like to bring in folks from the whole realm of the local food supply and agriculture, anyone working on these issues, any organization or individual that has plans or projects. What kind of people have we had on? Uh, so we've had farmers, we've had chefs, we've had people from government, uh, larger institutions, everyone who's working to help make Hawaii's local food system that much better. So you can see us every Thursday and join the conversation on Twitter, and we hope to see you there. on Fox Talk. I'm Crystal here with Kiahi and Doug talking about the fountain of youth of what it means to be forever young. Everyone loves, wants to just dine to be young and it's, oh, that's an ironic sentence there. But uh, yes, so what is youth? Coming back here, is youth passion? Is youth a zest of life where you need to, you know, I said lubricate earlier. How much does sexuality come into play in feeling young? Because it's not fair. You guys have a hot and heavy relationship. You've been together for a year. A lot of people who are married, like me, I'm not saying I don't have sex, but maybe I am. The point is, people live life and they just get consumed with their habits in life and, and things go on with, with a lack of the 
um, inspiration to try new things and to spark up light, if you will. Yes. So how much does sexuality play in the fountain of youth? A lot. Okay. Yes, indeed. I'm, um, I'm, as far as like coaching and, and surfing and, and being disciplined and stuff, I, I teach regiments, you know, for, for success. Right. So, you know, it's a discipline and stuff. And then on the opposite side, um, regiments don't really um, infuse Stimulate. stimulation. <laughs> so we, so, <laughs> so we, 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 you know, we spark it up, whether it's like we, we verbally discuss our fantasies okay. when we are mating. Okay. Making when love. you're named mating or before you're mating? Love. No, no, while, I, while we are, slowly. <clears throat> You know, so you will like a, describe some hot and heavy fantasy while yeah, you're like absolutely. in the heat and of it. Yeah, absolutely. Like, and just like spur it and, and like um, let stimulate, it flow. exasperate let it. Let it flow. Like, Whatever yeah. comes, just let it come. Just like just no accentuate pun intended, it. Right? No pun intended. No, no. Just everything is for you. Everything is for us. Well, everything. actually, yeah, everything's for you. Everything's for me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. The men really just just be just selfless. You just it's all about it's really, surrender truly, yourself. You know, which is all about them. <laughs> and like in their simulation, in their experience, you're fine. You're we're, we're fine. We are fine. They, really, they love everything. We're, we're good. We're good. We're we're good. We got the physical. We got the visual. Okay. We got the. But but fast forward like five years from now, when you're still a beautiful couple, but some things you might be going through premenopausal experiences where your body is yes. not as lubricant. And Doug, you may not find those stimulants as hot and heavy as it is now. Yes. So how do you feel about the definition of youth when that comes and how do you perpetuate that we shop feeling? Online. Okay. <laughs> for for, for items that will um, accentuate certain okay. aspects of her body. Um, <laughs> I so mean, you guys have option. a blow-up toy at home? <laughs> Not yet. No, I don't need any of those things. You don't. I never did. Boy, boy, I never did. <laughs> I've always felt, I, I, I mean, I'm a skin specialist for 10 years. That's right, okay. So I love how I feel in my skin. And the more that I love how I feel in my skin, yes. even through, you know, three natural childbirths, nursing for three, four years, I, I mean, just going through all of the different changes and embracing it all, you know, it, it really makes me feel even more beautiful in my skin. And another thing is a admiration, adoration when you see your loved one, you know, walking through the kitchen or walking <laughs> through the bedroom. You just take that moment and that time just to like observe. And admire. Admire. Yeah. Adoration is really, really That's important. That's a nice thing. It's it's not, so my just, body's not the same as 20s, so 30s, just, but. but just, just put the phone to the side and when she walks by, just have a gander. Have a look. <laughs> have very a little, poetic. Have a little. A know, little moment of like mm. but that's what it is there are moments in life where we get so consumed with our daily routines yes. is those little moments, moments that make us youthful yeah. I, I mean that those little moments yeah okay. absolutely just detach from your you know take that moment to like observe you know men are very visual yes creatures so um, you're gonna always have to be a spectacle in his life um i just feel like every man <laughs> i just want every woman to have a man like him that will that is in that moment that sees it and seizes that moment you know just yes. those little seconds in the morning yes. sometimes we only see each other for 30 minutes in the yes. morning 30 minutes at night I mean, and much. we're sleep yeah we're both out working and then we're sleeping so we don't have that much time together yes. um, but that little moment he he really does put the phone down you know i don't ask him to but he does just it peek in the and, closet once you know i mean what more does a woman want than to be admired so right. it's it's that easy. Just, just <laughs> yeah, you guys do make it sound it's, easy. It's that. Uh, it's really well, it really is. It's just you have to be um, there's awareness. Yes. You have to be connected, and you just have to be on a frequency, and you just have to have realizations. Right. You know, don't don't be a zombie. <laughs> just be be aware of your surroundings. But can I, uh, for a woman though, it might be a little bit different because you did you did confess that men are visual people well, I mean, and it's, it's easily I mean, stimulated it's, by things and change and new. But for mm -hmm. women, sometimes you feel a little bit yes. You yes. Know, no, yes. I I was very much conservative when I met him. Oh. He's actually brought out the sexiness in me. He's okay. got me to really embrace my voluptuousness because I I you know, I was very thin through my 20s and 30s, and now in my 40s, I've, you know, I'm about maybe 10, 15 pounds more, and I, I didn't really, I haven't really known how to embrace it all yet, and he, it's really he showed me how sexy I was. He showed ah. me, even though, I, yes, I am comfortable in my own skin, I wasn't really, like, showing it. 
Right, it's you know? It's really simple for a man. To okay. Be, like, it's like, you could just, like, not to bring in the closet thing again, but, like, you could just turn your head and smile and just have your hair come down your face in you a certain way. You see that sensualness. Well, yeah, and then that's all it takes for a man to actually, like, like fall in love again that morning. So you're saying that women need to find their sexuality I, to embrace just, it just, and to... Well, just to smile, like how they've seen you smile for 10, 20 yeah. years, that first time they, they right. fell in love with you and they see right. that, that look in your eye yeah. and that the, hair, the way your hair falls yeah. and the way you like maybe would drop your shoulder or something. These are all like things that um, men fall in love with. Subconsciously, some are a little bit more conscious of, about, about that. Mm -hmm. So men subconsciously will um, are very attracted to that and very attached to that so throughout the years go by all you have to do is the, keep those, those little, playing with the hands <laughs> the, 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 the little the little smile in the eyes and something that's just like wow it'll bring them back it'll bring the men keep men being can, proud of your cleavage <laughs> no it'll bring men back if you have it'll any bring men back to that 20 years ago it, it's really that simple it, does it take a man to bring that sexuality out of you it though? takes a man who can not be afraid of that in their woman. You know, most men fear their woman feeling that way, walking out of the door for eight hours. You know, they mm -hmm. uh, maybe men men are insecure too, just like women can be. Right. Good point. You know, and so they're not really gonna give their woman that because as they age, they don't want to lose that beautiful, youthful yeah. woman that right. comes home every night. Yes. So they that's why they're not sharing how they think. You know, he shares. Everything that he sees, Before she he walks shares out of the house, that. I'm like, no, that, that's not sexy enough. <laughs> yes. More, I want more of that. I want, no, but not so much cleavage, but just, just like something that will accentuate everything: your happiness, your heels. Put, put something on, like startling, starking. <laughs> you know, make it beautiful. Confident. Some people don't feel so sexual. Whatever it is, they're. You know, it's because you stop sharing. It's because you stop sharing that. Okay. It's because you stop okay. sharing. If you keep sharing that, yes. if you keep feeding each other, if you keep sh feeding each other, you know, it's feeding. It's a feeding. It's a feast. Yeah, love is a feasting. Yeah, it's a constant feasting. But what can women do if they don't have a, a wonderful partner like Doug? Spoil them. How do you spoil them? Tell yourself. them. Tell tell them yes. how beautiful they are. Tell them how sexy they are. Tell them what attracts you to them. You know, it's not always. The man's job, you know? right? You can't rely on that no. because not everyone. No, it, it's with it's a it's a relationship, you know, and it's we have just as much responsibility to bring out their sexuality, their manliness, their fervor as they do in our sexiness. And but what beauty. if you didn't have a partner now? Well, uh, for her to attract feel? me, <laughs> for her to attract me, she had to be this as well. Those those are she had to have that energy to thinking, begin I, with. I want a man that's going to empower me. I would love a man to empower me. I was describing him to my friends before I even met him. Mentally, for a whole year. Sexually, for a whole year. I said, my man is going to say this to me. My man is going to look at me this way. My man is going to just want me to be happy. When I walk into a restaurant, he's going to say, give her whatever she wants. I don't care how much it costs. And when he said that, every time we went into situations, I was like, I went, over, I went over my credit card limit, that's though. Awesome. But, <laughs> okay, <laughs> so, no, that's a good point. That's a very good point. So where is it, um, do we have to go and break uh, uh, past that border in order to pull back? Or, you know, do we need to, uh, in order to find that fountain, do we need to go out and explore and risk and do crazy, stupid things before receiving that elixir? Mm. Do we risk, have to get into dangerous, aspect, yeah. Yes. I don't think so. I think we're born knowing that. I think we were born being that. I think we're born that way. And I think it's, that's the work in our life is not forgetting that. But some people live by passion to a point where they are so reckless that they destroy things around them. And some people play it so safe that they would rather just keep within that container of a life and never allow themselves to be seduced by uh, their opportunities. So where do we draw the line? Where is it? Where is that our, magic? Our, our line is right here. We we are the line. This is this is we we can. You only, are the line. We are the line. We can only. What kind define, of line do you have? We we can only define what we do, mm -hmm. and we can share to the masses what we do, our perspectives, our thoughts, our ideologies. And they can be influenced. They can be, they can be inspired, and it's really, really up to them. And we're sharing, you know, a, a, a blissful message on how to live on an hourly, daily, 
weekly basis. But how do we open up those conservative minds into enjoying and seeing the beauty of this type of fashion they, they life? call us and we can speak to them. Okay, so your email <laughs> is sexandmochi at gmail.com. What the heck? What is sex and mochi? Is that the That's essence what I of said. your life? <laughs> what, is, what is mochi to you? That's what, what is I that said. the metaphor of? When I hear that, I just want to laugh. And I think okay. that's, that's, that's what youth is, and, is and, yeah. laughing. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. We had okay. a few good laughs before yeah. we came I'm like, on the sex show. and mochi? I'm like, really? He's like... Ah. Mochi is sexy, yes. I mean, it's, 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 it's delicious. It's a texture. It's, it's chewy. It's chewy. People crave you, it. You can savor it for people a while. People crave it. Yeah, you got to chew it. Whatever, yeah. Chew on so, it. Some things you just got to chew on for a while till you get it. I think yes. that's that's what you're trying to say. And, and they're like two different entities. In sex the sex in it. itself is not a big deal. Yeah. Sex in but itself is, is not. It's not. <laughs> Wait, 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 what? What? The sex? act of sex is it's, not it's, it's not it's nothing by itself. It's nothing. Itself. It's nothing by itself at all. It, it takes it takes perspective. So you need the mochi. You it's need mochi. the mochi. You, you know, need like, you like meat needs salt. Sex needs mochi. You need the spice to add to the actual element. Absolutely. Of and so that sure. comes back to you know, sure. what we've shared when we're in the act of you know, you spice it up a little bit. We talk about zombies all the time, and basically, how are zombies sexy? It's it's no, like it's zombie, people that clock in and clock out, that do oh, it their oh, toes, okay. like park with right. them. It, it's just like the mon the monotony yes. of the majority that is what's aging people. So how do we wake up these zombies? Um, the rail is not going to help. Take a day off. That, Put your job. They're all sitting that, in traffic. Yeah, that, that, that crutch. That's just bad. Yeah. So keahe, keahe, hikile, ikeala. Okamile, that's her whole full name. Amazing. Um, she has. We have one minute. You guys both tell us the what what it means, what what they need to do to find that youth. You're so eloquent, honey. Thank both you of you, so much. please share words, so, please. Um, to, to find youth in one minute, yes. Yes. I love that. Um, live vivaciously. Um, wake up and have a glass of wine. Don't call into work. Maybe, you know, take some time off. Um, What's the bottom line? Don't quit. Oh, yes. This is our this What is, is it? Set. What is it? Okay. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't quit your daydream. Don't quit. Uh, not your day job, but your daydream. <laughs> don't quit your daydream. Don't quit your daydream. Key dream. So please, thank you so much, you wonderful guests, to You're be welcome. able to remind us of the importance of dreaming and how that turns you into a youthful person enjoying life to its fullest. Thank you so much. <laughs> and I hope you took something you. from it. Thank, thank you so you. much.